OK, so a 2-2 a draw against Froome. Um, it must feel a bit like a win for you after going 2-0 down at half-time. Yeah, it's um, <clears throat> obviously today wasn't really about the result. Um, it was about just trying to play well, trying to you know fit this thing really. And we knew Froome were a very, very good side. And you could tell by the way they play and, the, and some of the football they're playing. But yeah, to then go and be 2-0 down at half-time and then to get the two goals feels brilliant. So... We were really happy with the score at 2-0 anyway, just with some of the things we were doing anyway. Obviously, we didn't have as much of the ball, but that was to be expected. So we were you know, first friendly as well. It was it, it was what it is, what it is, and we were sort of happy with that. And then to get the two goals quite late on just obviously make, makes it brilliant. So to get a draw, um, even in a friendly against a, a Southern League side, is a, a really good thing. So, yeah, we're really happy. How how have you found pre-season? Because obviously there was a lot of new faces today and I th I imagine there are going to be a lot of new faces next weekend. Um, how have, have you found uh, pre-season training leading up to this? Uh, brilliant. I mean, the, the attitude, you know, a couple of people spoke to me today about how they've sensed the attitude and stuff that people are saying and you can just sort of sense there's a real buzz around the place. Everyone sort of is competing for spa spa spots. It's even, you know, there's even more than two people per position you know we've got five six full backs you know five sort of center backs sort of nine center midfielders and stuff like that so everyone's sort of competing and, and we're really happy to have those sort of numbers obviously it's a lot better than having the wrong way around and not having enough so at the moment it's just a process of elimination and trying to decide who we're going to pick really but um it's great to have the numbers and, and we're really happy it's and it's not just numbers who you know we're just any old player these are top players who have either played for us here or youngsters coming up who are really impressing or players who come from other western league teams so they're all proper players and this is just my job now to decide which ones deserve to get that spot really on the first day of the season uh, i noticed a there was a couple of young players starting obviously uh corey was making an appearance again as well as uh a fan favorite in the stand anyway uh ashley Aushi in number eight um how much do you see of, of them in the upcoming season? Did, how do you think they'll fit into the first team this season? Um, well, to be honest, I said it to everyone that it's just a fresh slate. So that it's, it's really difficult because I want to be loyal to the players who did well for me last year. But at the same time, I don't think that's fair really on, on them or, or the new people coming in. So I'm not going to do anyone any favours. It's up to them. I spoke to them and said that they've got, they haven't even got loads of game time. They've got just the amount of game time we give them because there's so many players. So it, that goes for the youngsters. If, if Corey plays better than some of the other right backs, he'll, he'll start. And same with that with Ash. And he, to be fair, they both were brilliant today, especially we know what Corey can do. And he's been one of the most, for me, one of the most impressive lads in pre-season. Um, and Ash has been for two training sessions and he was so good in the, in the second one that we had to fit him into the friendlies. And tonight he was one of the best players in the first half. So, if he keeps playing like that, he'll have as good a chance as anyone. We're not going to go on age. He doesn't seem to care. He was playing against Southern League players today and he was just putting himself about, playing good balls forward. So he's got a good. they've all got a chance as, as, as experienced players, really. So it'll be up to them. If they can continue it in pre-season, they've got a good chance. Uh, talk me through some of the chat in the dressing room at half-time because going 2-0 down to an opposition like Froome, I mean, we've played much lower down opposition and... And, uh, and and you know coming out with more optimism in the second half. What was some of the the dialogue going on in the change rooms going to now down to a team like Froome? We were just saying that we were really happy with how they were playing. I think um, when you when you play a team like that, you understand they'll have you know they'll get a goal or two or they'll have good chances. But I don't think they did really. They had um, they had the two goals, but for me that was sloppy defending. I don't think they were sort of bombarding our goal or anything. They had good area, you know they're good areas of the football but even in the first I'd say half an hour they they didn't have l loads more ball than us but in the last sort of 10-15 we said that they they started to just get a foothold of the game and we said look if we carry on as we did in the first half an hour then um we we you know get in their face a little bit and try and force errors that we think that can be um that could work for us and n most people were only playing 60 minutes today so I said give me all for 60 and then we'll bring the other lads on and you know, they, those lads came on and got the two goals, but that I know they got the goals, but the lads who played the first 60, you know, did just as good a job at, at stopping for him and, and they're a good side, but I didn't think they had loads of chances. So that's something we were looking for to defend well. Um, and even the two goals, I think we could have done better. I think it was sloppy defending. I think they turned our players way too easily and they acknowledged that at half time. And you'd like to think when we're a bit, um, you know, a bit more fitter and, and when we're playing in the league game, it really means something, We that wouldn't happen. So... Uh, and we got two good goals as well, so we're really happy with it overall, really. What can we, on Saturday, uh, we're playing Westbury, I believe. Um, obviously not as as high as Froome, but what can we, what are we going to learn from this game to 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 try and push for the win against Westbury? Well, that'll be really competitive because obviously it's a derby and and they're in the league above. But 
we feel we've got enough to, to make it a good game at least. Um, we The same happened last year. They won this league and then went up and they had additions last year and we drew one all of them in pre-season and we know they've got really good players so if we're not at it um, then they'll hurt us but we know we've got good players so if we can play with the same intensity and the same work rate which is what I said to them there um, I've explained that we'll be playing tough games all season and when we're under the cosh in certain games or when we're playing teams higher in the league or something like that working hard like that is what will help us through those moments and Westbury will be exactly the same so as long as we play like that um, we've got a few players coming back in because we couldn't fit everyone in today so we've got some newer lad, uh, like fresher players coming in as well and some of those lads who were on the bench today will start that game so everyone's going to have a chance to show and, and, and we've got a really competitive team for that game as well how, how much will the squad change for Saturday? Will it be a rotation of three or four players or will we be looking at a completely different 11? Uh, yeah, it'll be a completely different 11 um, because we had we couldn't even do 11 and then another 11 because we had more than 22. So we had to do um, we had to give 11 sort of 60 minutes and then 11 60 minutes on Saturday and then lads who were coming off the bench 30 minutes that game and 30 minutes that game so everyone's got 60 minutes it's the fairest way we could do it without dropping out eight or nine players who don't deserve it so it'll be a very different team but you'll see some lads on the bench uh starting um but it'll be a different 11 yeah and and lastly i forgot to ask you earlier um lots of new players out there who did you think was the man of the match for today um oh, it's really tough to say because they didn't really um no one played low. I'd say Jamal. I think he was he worked worked really hard. He was frustrated because um, there was some words said about him running and working hard. But I think he was really putting it in. And then he showed great attitude to come out second half after he was frustrated and he was just running all over the place. And then um, just had, just his attitude when when it went a bit tough for him. And then you know looking for Brighty in behind and just looking dangerous in the second half when we changed it a little bit. So. A lot of the young lads, I think Ash and Corey did well, and there's probably others I'm missing just that they like, can't think now. But I think the lads who played 90, Ali was good as well. He had to cope with a lot of centre-backs, but I'd say Jamal was, was good. His attitude just pipped it for me. He was decent.